All right, y'all. So I just went backyard grocery shopping again. Got a whole bunch of green beans. Got one yellow squash, eight cucumbers. They shape kind of funny, but they taste good. And we got two spaghetti squash. Still got, uh, still got quite a bit of food left back there. As a matter of fact, uh, let me just show y'all. How the garden looks. Don't look so pretty this year again, but uh, still producing food. I'm gonna take y'all on this side first, just to take a quick look. These are sweet potato slips. See, they grew back. They are pretty long, so I need to go ahead and transplant those over there on that side. These are the white potato white potato vines and you can see they're starting to die off so in the next couple, next couple of weeks it'd be time for me to go ahead and dig those things out the ground uh like i said i just grabbed a bunch of green beans but still have a few small ones uh, still on the uh plants we have quite a bit of chard left uh a lot of it has been eaten away by uh insects of course, all the kale has been eaten by insects. Uh, see, my vines are starting to dry out. So I got to come back out here and hit this thing with some water. Look at that. Yep. So, I'm going to have a hard time getting that side. Uh, I'm on this side. Wait till we have another spaghetti squash right there. I have a one right here. It's a pretty big one. It's a green. It's green right now. Okay. Uh, yellow squash still growing. Okay. Let's see. Right there. Just seen another uh, spaghetti squash somewhere around here anyway I don't worry about uh, of course we got vines growing up the fence at least they was growing now they're starting to come back down so I actually forgot to water the garden yesterday I don't like to go no more than about um uh, so let's go over here a second. So y'all look at these sweet potato slips that I transplanted. Uh, maybe been three weeks ago, I guess. So with the uh, potatoes, I learned that you want to keep the soil wet. But anyway, we have sweet potato slips. They grew back in. Start to die off, but now they're starting to grow back in. See one more potato. I mean, uh, uh, cucumber I want to go ahead and grab and break up the vine, just like so. While I'm inside of here, let's take a look at a few of these. Uh, what is that thing called? Uh, cantaloupe. They are growing everywhere. They're growing everywhere. So, a lot of cantaloupes out here. Right there. Got a lot of them out here, y'all. I can count at least about 10 of them. Go back around and show y'all the watermelon. So, we did pretty good this year. Uh, we grew everything we planted. Don't know about the sweet potatoes yet. Or white potatoes yet. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure they've done just as good. That is another cantaloupe. Have a bunch of watermelons here. Right yonder. Right here. I think that's the biggest one right here. I got my finger on. See if you can y'all see that? Yeah. The biggest one there. One right there. Okay. 
Yeah, it's a few of them in there. So, uh, not as many watermelons as I expected, but I'm pretty sure we have enough. Anyway, so that's just a quick look at the garden. I made a cucumber salad the other day. I'm about to show y'all how I make that using these good old tasty babies here. Okay. I like to peel the skin off of it, whether it's white or it's green. It don't matter me, I like to peel the skin off of it. I just like the inside of it. So anyway, uh, let me go ahead and close this thing out. Grab my water hose and get this ground wet. Get this ground wet. Anyway, y'all, y'all stay safe and stay away from GMOs. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll catch y'all next time.